It's going from anywhere from $160 to we've got one listed at $477. How much is your milk can? 40. 40 bucks? Got a handful of things here I didn't see prices on. Yeah, we we didn't price stuff. No problem. I got a sign, some cups, what and two cameras. Oh, okay. Camera. This camera is twenty-five. Okay. That one's ten. Ten. I don't know how much is the bell. That's five. I say five on the bell. So what did that come up? And to? then I got cups here too. Uh, a dollar for all of them. Okay. Call it forty bucks for everything. Um, let's see, what did she say? I think we're at like yeah, 41. That's fine. that's fine. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I tried to get my mom to put that up in her new garage. I don't know any holes in the wall. Where did it come from? My dad worked at the phone company for 45 years. No kidding. Yeah. So this was at the Bell? 18, it's AT&T. at and Or it might be Ohio Bell. I don't know which one it is. Ohio Bell. Because he worked for both of them. Because That Bell is actually from Africa. If you worked there long enough. Yeah. at and owned it for a while. Hi, Bell was for a while. I don't know what it's called now. Interesting. So this was hanging at the actual Somewhere at the office. office. Very cool. Office. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, how much is your cart behind you? The cart itself? Yeah. Ten bucks? Yeah, ten bucks. I will take it. I'll take it. Everything on it for uh, everything with it. For a hundred. I don't think I need everything with it, but I definitely will take the cart. I'll load this stuff up and come back. Okay, we'll put this other stuff on this other table. Thank you. I'm gonna buy all your Legos. Oh, all right. I'll just leave them here if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let me get you a bigger box. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, I think it came to three, two, two is seven, four is eleven, and three is fourteen. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Where are your keys? My keys are in my in my purse. I think in our Yeah, definitely. Okay, I have one inside that I was going to sell on eBay because it's it's older. Okay. Can you go give me the Lego box off the dining room table? Sorry. No, please. Where'd your sign come from? Um, that's a friend of mine. I don't know. Interesting. It's in her son's room, so. I think they're staying at a hotel or something? Yeah, with? maybe. Um, this is it. Okay. I don't even know. I didn't even know where to start with pricing it. Okay. So I was, I just dragged it inside because I was like, oh, maybe I'll sell that on, on eBay. Do okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, think about it. Let me know price. Okay. So it's retired. 
tired. Okay. And. So they're going from anywhere it's going from anywhere from $160 to we've got one listed at 477 okay so I don't know 50 bucks just because it's retired and not opened sure I'll do that okay I appreciate it okay um, how much is the Erlacher uh, uh, I don't know can we ask it yeah sure it? can we ask him when he comes back? yeah no no rush okay. Sorry. I'm going to get all this too. Okay. So I'm just making a giant pile That's on your table cool. here. Yep. Okay, I got a couple things I added here. Okay. I'm not sure if you had already had a total. I started already. sticking stickers over there so I could. I think I'm done. Okay. So I'll settle oh, up with everything. Do you want to the Yeah, see what he's wanting Brad, for. Brad, how much do you want for your Erlacher football? Where'd he go? What? How much do you want for your Erlacher football? Give him one second. Sure, no problem. I can just pay for this stuff and okay. then. Okay. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Even. Uh, I think I owe you more than that because Good. I owe you 50 for the Legos. Yeah, that's four, on here. 14 that's for these here. Legos. Yeah. So that's 64 just right there. Um, and I can't add. So let's sure. do this again. 60. <laughs> 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. That sounds, Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. No problem. 60 bucks is the cheapest. They're, they're all over the place. There's one for 500. There's one for two, 300. There's one for 100. There you go. 200, 100, 150. So 60 is the cheapest. Is that what you want for it? Yeah. 60. I think I'll pass on that. Okay. Thank you, though. Do you want me to put the Morning. Morning, how are you? All right, thank you. A lot of the guys want the fishing stuff. And you even got some fish to catch here, too. There you go. Hi there. How are you today? I am fine, thank you. How about yourself? Doing great. Good. Good, good. Are you a Miamian? No, I just thought the trash can was cool. Okay. I owe you 13. Okay, and I'd like to pull the tags if that's okay. Yeah, of course. There you go. Okie doke. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Have a good day. Uh huh. You have a good day too. Have the remote for this? No. Oh, oh, oh I don't know. Um, let me ask my husband. Okay. I've got a printer too. If you're into that kind of stuff. Okay. Here's the printer. Oh, okay. I think I'll pass on that, but I will take the VCR. I buy those, but I feel guilty. I priced them, so I won't. But these should sell. 
so there you go. Put these out Thank here. You, these, Have a good day. These are both USA, so those should go too, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Is everything for sale? Just about. If it's not marked or, or okay, or just ask me and I'll tell you if it is or is not. Alrighty. Both for lots of clothing. Got a mile in over there that's for sale. Okay. That's Christmas stuff. That's not for sale. Okay. Yeah. If it says Christmas. That's unfortunately got to hang around. Gotcha. <laughs> All that's for sale. The, the, the photos with the, with the collars are five dollars. Sweaters are two dollars. Sweaters are two. Is this a men's or women's? Either or. Either or. Uh -huh. I'll give you two bucks for that. Okay. Selling your Anheuser Busch thermometer? No. That is neat. You don't have any like old signs or old collectibles like that you're selling, do you? That's the only one I got. I got what you want. Oh yeah. Any of this stuff for sale? Uh, no, that's my wife's sort of nail stuff. Oh, okay. She does nails. Got an ice cream maker for sale. Brand new, maker. never been used. It's the old hand crank. Oh, yeah? Uh, my mom paid $200 for that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. White maker. Mountain. What are you asking for that? I have to have 25. I'll give you 25 bucks for it. Okay. One, I open it up. Oh no, no, no need. Okay. Looks like it's sealed. It is sealed. I, I trust you. I think there's even a recipe in there also for ice cream. Okay, great. Do you have any old uh, baseball bats or gloves, anything like that? No, I don't have anything like that at all. Okay. Any vinyl records? No. no. Were you the violin player? No, we, we, we got that. Somebody gave it to us. Oh yeah? Yeah. I don't know the first thing about it. Me neither. I play guitar and drums, but okay. I don't know if I could play this or not. What are you asking for it? Five bucks. I'll All buy right. it. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back at the shop, and I found a ton of stuff today. Like, every single sale I went to just had really good stuff. I got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. All right, we'll start on this table. I got this uh, University of Miami trash can. I think it was $3.00. These vintage trash cans can bring a little bit of money. Um, somebody recently showed me a comp. They sold a Bengals trash can for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. This one, you know, with a smaller like market of people I'm selling to, like only Miami grads, I doubt it'll bring a ton, maybe 40, 50 bucks. I really have no idea, but it's really clean. So I went ahead and picked that up. At that same sale, I got this American Torster uh, Tierra or Tiara suitcase. I've never seen one in this shape before, so it caught my eye. So it has that going for it, and it has the color red going for it. Anytime you guys are looking for vintage suitcases, the ones that um, are different fun colors are the ones you want to find. If it's just like a beige or a black or white or whatever, they're typically not worth picking up, but sometimes the fun colors can do really well. And this one, I paid $10 for it, and I saw a sold comp of $80 plus shipping. This sale right here where I got these games, I bought a ton of stuff. I spent like $80. Uh, let's see, I got this Howard Miller carols of christmas clock i think this was two bucks she took all the price tags off uh, i got cranium new in the plastic for a few bucks i got a mr bill wacky wobbler gestures new in the plastic um i got this i think it's is it lamborghinis or ferraris or maybe it's just a whole variety yeah we got a porsche ferrari just a lot of red cars uh puzzle that was new in the plastic picked up this lego technic car new in the box and she mentioned this after I bought all these Legos. So we got these Legos over here. There's another box over there. And the prices were really good. So it was like $4 for all these. And a lot of these are assembled. And they've even got like the little, you know, figures and stuff. Let's see, this box was $3. Just some really cool Legos. I don't know who this is. We got some figure guys on there. Here's the Batmobile. And this box here... It's full of Legos. Let's see, this piece was priced separately. That was only $2. It's like this big ship. We got this big, I think this is a Technic. Yeah, a Technic direct inject truck. I mean, it looks almost complete. I really don't know if it's all there or not, but that was only three bucks. And then there's one more underneath here. Little like race car thing for two bucks. But anyways, 
after I bought all that, she said, I've got one new in the box. And she mentioned she was maybe going to put it on eBay. And I said, well, if you want to bring it out, I'll take a look. When she brought that out, she, I did a quick look up just to see what I could probably sell it for. And I think I can sell it for around 150 bucks. But she was one to do her own research. So I was letting her take her time. She spent, it seemed like four or five minutes just looking prices up on this thing. And she says, it looks like it's selling between 160 and like 400 and something, I think is what she said. And I was just trying to keep my poker face on, you know, like not saying anything. And then she says, how about 50 bucks for it? I'm like, that's perfect. Like, I'd be happy to pay 50 bucks because I think I can get 150. Maybe a little bit less just because the box has a little bit of damage. But I checked the seals. Um, anytime you guys are checking to see if Lego sets are sealed or not. The tape has like this little black bar on it. At least I think most of the modern ones do. I'm not a Lego expert by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I know that this tape isn't something that she taped on. That's original Lego tape. And that will be on both sides. At least in my experience, that's what I've seen. So I was really happy to get that. Picked this sweater up at a sale for two bucks. I've been doing a little bit more with clothing here and there. It is Polo Ralph Lauren Hand Knit. It's cotton, not wool, so it might not be worth a lot. At that same sale, I picked up a violin for five bucks. Absolute steal. I don't know what it's worth, but kind of hard to go wrong for five dollars for a violin. And I also got this four quart White Mountain hand crank ice cream maker for $25. He said it was brand new in the box. Um, I couldn't find the same model F64304, but I saw one by White Mountain that's a four quart active listing with uh, bids that hasn't ended yet. It was like an open box and it was going for like $230 already. So I think I'm going to do really good on this one. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of $200, $300 is what it should sell for. All right, we're going to come over to my photo table here. Don't mind the mess, guys. I picked up a Magnavox um, DVD VHS combo unit for $3. Doesn't have the remote, but these do really well. Uh, Magnavox is one of the best brands of these things that you can find. I wish it was a DVD recorder, but it's not. It's just a DVD player. When it's a DVD recorder, it will say DVD recorder right there. That's when you get into some really big money, like $100 and up. If I had to guess, I'd say this was going for about 40 or 50 bucks. I've got a Monopoly game, National Parks Edition. I think it was two or three dollars. Keep an eye out for these guys because there's a really good collector's market for Monopoly games. And this one doesn't even look like they opened the bags for the houses. Wow, this is actually in close to brand new condition. Even these, these are in the bag. This is sealed. The money's sealed. All the pieces are sealed. So... I'm still going to sell it as used because it's, you know, the box itself isn't sealed, but I'll definitely say excellent condition. I think this is going to do well. I saw used ones of these going for about 35 and this one, the condition it's in, I could maybe stretch out 40 or 50 bucks. Got a bunch of Reds cups at one sale. I thought these were awesome. I've never seen these. From the 1988 All-Star Game. I think these were just kind of thrown in on the deal from that first sale. And then this one is from, I believe it's 79 or 80 where they had all the little pennants for all the stuff the Reds have won. That was cool. This sale was different because some things were priced really high, but some things were low. So, like, at first, I brought up this, these two cameras, um, this sign, and something else. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, yeah, these cups. And she had said, like, 25 on this and 10 on this. And then the guy said five on that, and then they were saying like a buck. So I said 40 for everything. They were cool with that. I typically wouldn't have paid 25 for this little camera. Uh, this is what they call a pocket camera, believe it or not. It's an antique camera. And these can do pretty well. It's probably worth about 25 or 30 bucks. It's got that cool accordion look. Nobody's really taking pictures with these anymore. They're just putting them on the shelf. Uh, but since it was like a bundle thing, I was happy with it because this piece right here, I think can bring some serious money. He said his dad worked for Ohio Bell, uh, or AT&T, whichever company I guess it's called, and this was in the office. It's a solid wood sign, weighs like 20-some pounds. You know, it might take me a while to sell it, but to the right buyer, I think that could bring around 100 bucks. I also got a little iPhone at that sale for a dollar, and this Coolpix S210 camera, a little point-and-shoot. Those usually bring about 30 bucks. Last sale of the day was this shop. Um, the guy had all kinds of stuff. There was a lot of really nice looking electronics. Well, at least typically nice looking and the type of stuff I would buy, but like knobs were missing. They just looked rough and I was guessing they'd been sitting there for a while. So I avoided any kind of like used electronics. I just didn't want to go down that road of buying stuff that probably didn't work. So I focused on the sealed stuff instead. I got seven sets of these Norelco shaver replacement heads. 
And anytime you find this stuff, always look it up because this stuff is all discontinued. If I had to guess, these are from like the 90s or 80s. Yeah, see, 1991. So I doubt they're making these same models anymore, but a lot of people are still using those razors and they want these replacement heads and they're getting harder to find and they're willing to pay up for them. Uh, the ones I looked up were going for $20 each plus shipping. I got seven packs for $20, so I think it should bring around $140, $150 for those. Also got this new bright 9.6 volt uh, battery and charger. These are for those little RC cars. And I always pick these up when I find them because they do really well. This one's new in the plastic. I paid five. I think it'll sell for about 25. And last thing I found is this rolling cart. I love finding these. They're vintage, probably from like 60s, 70s. They're metal. They're sturdy little things, and I've flipped a lot of these over the years. You can typically get $40 or $50 for these based on condition. I paid $10 for it, and I might just keep it. I might keep it upstairs in my shop because right now I've got one of these holding a crate of records that I'm selling, and the one I have isn't very sturdy. It's pretty wobbly, so I'll probably sell the one I have and then just keep this one. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.